name is Ilda Zilkin and I'm the author of Blue Mountain Mist. I am sitting here today doing another insert to explain what is going on in a more in-depth look. Uh, first of all, um, we are a family of Turkologists, but the family is heavily divided. My brother and I uh, are on one side, my father is on another. He wants uh, Turkology, the linguistic, killed off. Uh, my brother and I um, want it exposed, or we've tried for years. That is part of C3's history as well, the 1998 release. Um, we're going to put that aside and just remember, uh, Turkology is a very old study, probably as old as the Vatican, but it is a part of the secretive societies um linguistic known as the devil's tongue in pushing the church and europe's academia and not understanding um language years ago so um but today uh we're going to look into a different type of turkologist which is my father and uh, he absolutely wants this language killed to the point that a lot of these people or fanatics that they may even turn on an own family member in the process of the battle of language. So there is a battle of language going on in C3 or languages. So we're going to look at, uh, first of all, a nice picture of Napoleon and what is uh, a Turkologist slash bibliophiliac. So everybody knows um the man as an insane bibliophiliac now this is where you touch books and you love books and you have a disease for books but we're gonna go into his basement um it's all books he hoards books everything in our world is books now i'm a lot better i do have some issues with flowers but uh, and I do read every night, but he is a Turkologist slash bibliophiliac. And this is what we go through in our battles uh, in bringing out the devil's tongue and the challenges with it. So this is a real house. It's very old. We're about 20 years in the same home, or he is. And uh, this person... Um, it's very, very interesting because when I come in here and steal one of his books, he knows right away. And that is the genius behind him. So uh, it gets better. Um, there are thousands of articles that he has underlined. And this contributes to another different branch of academia. Uh, but... My thing with him is that he doesn't get, today, kids just don't want to read. So a lot of these books get picked up and thrown into the garbage. And the Vatican has kilometers of books that nobody wants to read. But they just want to develop their own thing, their own identity. They just don't want to read. Uh, that is part of the real devolve. And uh, my bigger concern was how the chip in humans for the future, in the future, will design different levels of classes. So if you're at the bottom class, you know, a Negro or uh, historically, or anything they consider at the bottom, it's going to prevent you from reading even more. If you're at the top, it's not, it's going to give you a particular high to read. Um, and this is what we are battling day in and day out as part of the ethics movement for the future in the real evolve. And this is where I am right now. So you see a lot of these problems are just the tip of the iceberg. And this is why I'm known as a converter. And this is why these proposals are so critical that there's a lot of secret agents around me and they're um, hoping that we actually finish the work. Uh, so this is where I am.
and I'm going to come over here and give you a peek into my grand great grandfather, which is my father's father, um, in the middle right there. So that's where we are, right? I just saw his picture. That's the only reason why. So this is what we are going through. There's even comedy uh, with with underline, and this is part for the for those who do like to read. Very very important uh, because every underline might trigger intelligence. But like I said, because nobody likes to read more, um, very recently because YouTube and Facebook and social media is more fun, um, we're gonna take that concept of building and incorporate it into the real evolve to push advancement uh, because reading for me is a very very important component of advancement so that's where i am right now we are hoping you can support this project um and from the life of a biblio a bibliophiliac this man sleeps with his books, eats with his books, and I had wrote about him years ago in Google+, Plus, um, but I just wanted to add on to the topic of people don't like to read. They just want to redevelop. There are about, probably about 20,000 different challenges that are new in the development of the real Evolve and uh, class structures, linguistics, devil's tongue, concepts of reading, concepts of building, the psychology, the academia, the written material, and how one genius, like I said, which is really funny, when I take his book and go upstairs, he starts screaming his head off. The genius knows. So that is where I am today. Thank you and hoping you can support.